Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We got the 85 times five, but we need more. EA Sports, it is July. We just need more content when the quality is just not as good as it has been in the past couple of weeks. It seems like EA has kind of lowered the quality meter in the past couple of days in this game. And I want to talk about that a little bit, but there's still a lot to do on this game with Eight more Summer Swaps tokens dropped yesterday. We do have player picks now that are repeatable. It's the 81 plus, not the 82 plus, which is cheaper, but I think the 82 plus was a little bit better. We're still going to be doing a lot of these this week. So I want to take a look at all of that. And of course, just kind of look at the market in general with cards actually going up on weeks and times like these where we don't see content being that crazy, right? Especially over the past two days, you've got some of your cards from the mini release from Shapeshifters Team 3 actually going up a bit and across the whole market, meta cards out of packs have risen a little bit because the content is just not super crazy. And a lot of people are now just, I think it feels like a lot of people are just waiting for Friday because Friday is the huge Summer Swaps token reward day. So I want to take a look at all that. And we do have one leaked SBC maybe coming today on Tuesday. We'll talk all that in more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with the top from the top and talk about this 85 times 5. Because yesterday I said, hey guys, there might be potential this dropping. EA did end up dropping the SBC. We can do it one time every single day. It looks like, as you can see here, repeatable every 24 hours, 12 to go until we can do it again, at least for when I'm recording this. It's not like that expensive, but I also don't think that it's it's that great of value, uh, especially with, again, another requirement for a team of the week or a team of the season player making this X SBC a little bit extra expensive. And again, 90,000 coins. Here's, here's the problem with this SBC just from a, from a value standpoint, 90,000 coins to get this done. Everybody loves this sort of gamble SBC, but when you have 85 rated being 8,000 coins, you're like, Nate, I'm gonna pay 90,000 coins to have a chance at packing, you know, five 85s or at least four 85s, which are worth eight to 9,000 coins a piece. Most times doing this pack, you're really not gonna make your money back. If it was an 85 times 10 at this price, that'd be great. And I think everybody had great expectations, including myself, for the 85 times five. But the reality is, it's just not going to be that good right now for a couple different reasons. Reason number one is, think about how many cards we have in packs. This is the biggest reason of the two. Number one, we have so few cards in packs to when what we were used to as the 85 times 10 SBCs in the past couple years in the, in the summer, when that SBC is really hyped and so many people are excited to do it, there are only 11 cards in packs right now. It's not like the pack weight is super insane. I guess there's uh, the mini release that is out as well. So it's 11 plus three, so 14. But, you know, it just seems like the pack win on the weekend was pretty solid from the upgrade packs and from the uh, lightning rounds and stuff like that. But it's just there's not that many cards in packs for what we need for an 85 times 5 or an 85 times 10 to be insanely overpowered. We need all of those re-releases, those batches, right? We remember last year during like footies and summer stars where they would re-release old special cards in packs. That is the type of of pack content, impacts cards, there needs to be a lot of impacts promo cards, either team of the weeks, um, you know, team of the seasons, past promos. When those sorts of cards start getting re-released into packs, that's when an SBC like this is really, really going to shine. It's just that first reason, again, is there's just not that many cards in packs and the pack weight is just not there because of it. I saw so many people opening these SBCs yesterday and like not even getting promo cards, right? So many people are just getting gold. You know, you're getting some good walkouts, some pretty good fodder. If you can snag a 90 rated card, you know, like a Ter Stegen or a Harry Kane or a Conte, then it's kind of worth it. But most people weren't packing shapeshifters and a very few amount of people were packing shapeshifter heroes, uh, you know, and they show up at the back of the pack, which you like, you open it up, you're like, I got nothing. Then in the back of the pack, you see that there's a shapeshifter hero. So that's that's kind of the biggest thing. Again, the pack weight is just not going to be there. And again, number two, we just had way too high of expectations, right? We had way too high of expectations for a pack that can only be half as good as the 85 times 10. Uh, I myself got a little overexcited for this, I think, just because, again, everybody remembers the 85 times 10. And it's, it just can't be that good when it's only five players. And again, like I said, less 
cards in packs at the moment. So that's kind of the problem with the 85 times five. Now, am I still gonna do this every day? Yes, I am. But here's the question I wanna pose right now. Could it actually be worth it? This is like if you have a lot of coins and you're gonna be grinding through all the menu content and get all this done. If you don't have a lot of coins, I'd be very, very careful with this gamble upgrade right here. I would, you know, if you're gonna do it and you're still trading, then that's fine. But is it a play to actually save and not open this 85 times five right now and save it maybe a week. If this Friday they start re-releasing past cards and packs like past specials and promos, I don't know what this Friday is going to bring, but if they do something like that either this week or next week, it might be worth saving this pack for a few days, for a little while, stack these up and just wait to open them until you A, either need the fodder for some sort of SBC that you wanna do, or B, wait until they start re-releasing promo cards and packs if it's very soon. That you know time to, to uh, save your pack ratio, if you will, might be worth it. Just kind of depends on what you're doing. It's also July, so if you're like, Nate, I just wanna open the pack and hope to pack somebody cool, then I completely get that. But it might be worth saving some of those packs because right now they just don't seem to be that hype. Although, yes, there are some cool cards and packs. I'm gonna open mine today on stream on Tuesday. Uh, excited to get back on the stream grind. Missed it last few days with a crazy busy weekend, moving and all that good stuff. But I'm also going to keep grinding the 81 plus player picks. I know a lot of people are like, man, there's nothing to do right now. I disagree with saying that there's nothing to do, but I do agree with the fact that saying, okay, EA, we would like a little bit more content in this type of time of the year to keep us engaged. I think I, think I do agree with that just a little bit. Now I've got five player picks here because I haven't opened any yet. Uh, and I just want to see how these are. I put them together from the club. 81 plus player picks. I would have loved the 82. Like I said, uh, you're gonna still gonna get some pretty good cards out of here. You see me get a walkout, the Bala in the second one. Of course, only nine players is very nice when you have less players required for this SBC. Except it doesn't make sense. They require they require 40 chemistry for this, but the 82 plus player pick last week, I believe, only required 30 chemistry. So that doesn't really make sense but uh you know of course these are hit or miss as they always are one walkout every five and 84 is not too terrible because they are kind of cheap i'm gonna be doing a bunch of those this week just because why not trying to get a lot of those crafted and at least do a lot of those to get fodder to complete upgrade sbcs like i said i'm gonna save my 85 times five now will we get another sort of upgrade pack today on tuesday that's the question because they're re-releasing the 85 five every day and it's, it's not like it's a, uh, this kind of reminds me of like Team of the Season Ultimate where we had the E-Figs Tots and the Tots Upgrade Pack like every day. You know, that was like good content, right? That was really high level, very engaging. You know, there were Tots cards in packs and it was a great time to be releasing Tots card SPCs like that. You know, if they were putting out like an E-Figs Tots or like a 93 plus Tots upgrade like right now, every single day along with this, that would be fantastic. But as of right now, that's the kind of like next step up of content that we are needing. We're going to be able to do this again today. Again, open it or save it, whatever you want to do or craft it. You can even try to craft this with the 81 plus upgrades. But we really need some sort of like other upgrade pack today on Tuesday to make, you know, bring a little bit of hype back to the game. Now, the other thing that we have that could be dropping today, and I know I'm covering this a little early, um, but uh, we have one leaked SBC player, and that is it. Martinez Corta, his, his base card is a non-rare gold center back in the game. Now, I have no idea what this guy's going to get position change to. If he's going to be a midfielder, if he is going to be a striker, a right wing, left wing. We've seen center backs go to striker. We've seen center backs go to right wing with St. Juste. No idea what this card is going to be positioned as, but he's our... Uh, only leaked card that we have at the moment. Since we didn't have a player SBC yesterday, besides the Icon Garincha, I do imagine that it's possible that we could get this player SBC today alongside of some other new upgrade pack. And that's probably going to be our Tuesday content for today on the game. So again, I'm really curious to see what this card is. Might offer some pretty interesting links with the Argentinian links in the Serie A, but we'll just have to see what kind of progresses through with that now speaking of the content that dropped yesterday as well get i just want to cover this really fast his card of course as you would expect has dropped a lot in price he is 700 000 coins just bounced back up slightly uh he was 900k 
before everything happened yesterday. His SBC is not coming in at the most favorable price though. 780, 800,000 coins as I refresh the page. And his card is like 100,000 coins cheaper on the market. And also at this time, we have the best right mid in the game, Gareth Bale, that is what everybody wants for their team. So, you know, a Grincha card, not bad. Um, but if you're doing like all the gamble icon upgrade packs, you know, it just it's probably a guy that you've seen pop up from one of those icon moments upgrades. I'm not, I'm not saying that everybody is packed to get into you, but um, you know, it is a nice, very meta card to get done if you want to craft the SBC. I just think the value is okay, though. It's not great. It is just okay. Now, speaking of values, let's talk market here for a second. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at the objective swap tokens because we also mentioned this in yesterday's video saying, hey, EA dropped eight tokens last week. Could they do it again? And they did. So now we're feeling like EA is very ahead on the tokens after they dropped, like we mentioned, another set of eight. So now we are at 25 total swap tokens for Summer Swaps 2 after the ones that they dropped yesterday. Two more squad, or sorry, four squad battles games for Portugal and MLS, and then Syria and La Liga in the friendly modes. You win four matches, and then you get yourself a player pick and uh, two swap tokens per. This is a very nice grind. So again, a lot of people are like, Nate, there's nothing new right now in this game. I disagree because you do have a lot of gameplay to grind to get yourself swap tokens. 16 swap tokens available here in uh, between these two objectives. So very nice. And I'm hoping to get these done by Friday because Friday is the huge day. Again, we I'm going to keep talking about it like every single day. Friday is the day that the summer swaps tokens will be redeemable and we're going to be able to turn in all of these cards for something sick on Friday. And now that we have 25 tokens released, I would imagine that by the time we get to Friday, we're probably gonna have somewhere between 28 and 32 tokens released. And that's gonna mean that people are gonna be able to claim some of the biggest and best rewards that are out there um, from summer swaps. If you think about it, right? The uh, We got like the, I think it's 30 tokens for the, what is it, 96 plus TOTS E-Figs player pick, like that big player pick. You know, some people, myself almost included, might be completely done with summer swap tokens on the time that we had Friday because if I'm able to get somewhere around like 20 to 25 tokens, I'm gonna take all the fodder packs and one of the player picks and be close to done and maybe just grind some other ones throughout the second half uh, of the swaps tokens before we hit to 50 and everything. But a lot of people are going to be taking a lot of packs and a lot of really cool player picks this Friday. So this Friday is going to be very, very hyped because of that and because of how many tokens have been released. So that's what I'd be grinding this week if I were you guys. You're like, Nate, what do I put time to on the game this week? Get those objectives done. Get those uh, games done. We'll get those SBCs done as we continue to probably have a couple, you know, uh, shapeshifter challenge SBCs this week that we'll give out those summer swap tokens. So I would definitely grind that this week. And again, grind the player picks, right? Have some fun. Unless you don't have a lot of coins and you want to save them, I completely understand that. Then maybe you, you don't do that there. But speaking about coins, speaking about values on the market, let's take a look at these shapeshifters because, like I mentioned, with the content yesterday not being that crazy, right? 85 times five, cool, but not that crazy of content. You have seen some of these cards rise further in price. Valverde is over 900,000 coins by a decent amount now, and a lot of your shapeshifters from Team 3 did bump up in price yesterday, specifically your most meta ones. Leroy Sané was like 270, 280. He's now over 300,000 coins. Ribéry is back up a little bit. Rashford's up like 100K. The Valverde, of course. Like I mentioned in last night's video, I said, hey, probably some of your Real Madrid links are going to continue to rise. I still have Mar Marcelo. Uh, Marcelo went even further. He was like 4 million coins flat. He's now 4.3. Modric went even higher yesterday on Monday, going over 300,000 coins. You can see he started at 280 and then kept going over 300K. As people are just going out, they're crafting that Gareth Bale and they're buying cards to link up together in their squad. So specifically those Real Madrid and some of those La Liga links continue to rise as this is the biggest card still in the game at the moment um, right now. So that's what everybody's kind of grinding towards. And I feel like EA is letting us breathe a little bit this week, dropping a lot of tokens, dropping a little bit less content, trying to allow us to get all of our swaps done and completed, maybe grind a couple upgrade packs and keep the content a little lighter this week before they hit us hard probably on Friday with 
who knows what else we're going to get besides the summer swap rewards being released but that's also kind of asking the question at the moment like is is the shapeshifters promo like is the hype dying for these cards team three is just not as good as the first couple teams in terms of the the pack ability for a lot of these cards yes the hero shapeshifters are pretty cool but for most people they're like you know nothing super special and, and there's nothing that they want to really you know go out and grind too much for i think that's the problem with the hero shapeshifters is uh they look good but they don't look like super insane and all of them except for ginola and um who's the other one yeah ginola i think is the only one that is actually worth something i guess you could include ole in that list as well but the whole entire rest of the hero shapeshifters are like 110k and below gomez is 100,000 coins uh, the one that we had on Colaire. Where's Colaire? He's 100,000 coins as well. So, so many of these guys are just dirt cheap, like the rest of the Shapeshifters Team 3 is. Again, apart for our couple cards up top, it just kind of gives you that vibe that EA wants things to be quiet this weekend. What do we know about times when they do this? They bring it back uh, emphatically. They bring it back huge, right? When EA goes on these dry spells of content, when it gets quiet, when it gets like, oh my goodness, everybody's like, the content sucks. This promo is dying. EA Sports, what are you doing? Give us more stuff. They always come back and hit us with something huge. Not too long after a time period like this happens. So it's times like this where we got to stick it out, right? Grind your summer swaps, get a little excited about some player picks. They're still going to be dropping upgrade packs this week, some gamble packs. If you want to get involved with those, just be careful with your coins. There's still a lot of content to come. Uh, so that's kind of what I would say. Just weather the storm right now of the slow content. And pretty soon, basically, by the time we get to this Friday, it's going to kind of turn back around again with the summer swaps rewards and whatever else they uh, bring out on the game happening this Friday. So yeah, that's just kind of the vibe of the menus right now. Really like I'm going to try out some of the shapeshifter cards today. I'm excited to kind of look at those. I'm going to grind a bunch of the 81 plus player picks just because I need to get bail done. I would like to get Ole done. Uh, and uh, you know, Trent, I'm going to get done as well. There's, there's plenty of SBCs right now to craft, which is very, very nice for the 81 plus player pick being there and being available and uh, got a lot of player SBCs to do with the fodder that we get from that. But honestly, guys, that's kind of the video for today. I know that it's just not that high of a time. I'm with you. I feel that. We were hoping for a little bit more so far with this week of, shape, of the Shape Shifters promo, but it's not over yet. Hopefully, EA hit us with something sick today. Good luck if you're doing the 85 times 5 again. It's still a fun pack to open. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm just kind of slandering the name of that pack because the pack weight's not that great on it, but it's still a really good pack. There's still potential to pack a lot of players. And if you're not feeling it, then just save it. You'll be happy two, three weeks down the line. Max, when they start re-releasing promo cards and packs and you open one of these up and you get like three special cards in it that are all 88 plus, then it's going to feel like it was worth your time and your value and, and the waiting maybe, right? But it, of course, it's a pack. So you could open it in three weeks and just still get 385s and that would suck. So, you know, that's kind of the vibe of the game at the moment, lads. I do want to know in the comments down below, what, what are you doing right now in the game? What are you enjoying? Are you enjoying the objective grind, collecting your swap tokens? Are you logging on every day, checking the content and then like, nah, fam, I'm out. Or what is it for you that is still keeping you at least watching some FIFA content and somewhat inter interested and intrigued with FIFA 22 in July? Let me know down in the comments uh, what has got you still going on this game. Because at the bottom line, there also is a lot of great cards to try out. And I totally understand people that just want to try out fun cards. Maybe an ML MLS fan bringing Yunberg to MLS is really hype. Ribéry might bring somebody back as a card that they really want to use. Gomez, Valverde, Rashford, Ginola, Gio Reyna makes me want to play with a USA team, right? It's that sort of stuff that EA does a great job with at keeping us involved with great cards that they put on the game. So maybe that's bringing some of you guys back as well. Again, let me know down in the comments. But if you did enjoy today's video, hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you.